Team Lab Planets Tokyo DMM. Five things you need to know before you go so you don't regret it. Hello, I'm Hiro. This time, we will introduce five things you should know beforehand about Team Lab located in Toyos, Tokyo, which is a very popular tourist spot. You won't regret watching this. Team Lab creates art by forming teams of artists, programmers, engineers, CG animators, mathematicians, architects, etc. The team exhibits their work and holds exhibitions in various locations, and is active worldwide. You can look at it as art, or you can actually touch it and feel it with your five senses. After the event, it's a great spot for both adults and children. I will explain it to you in a video, but since it is an art that makes full use of light and projection mapping, there are some parts that are difficult to convey in the video. If you are planning to go, please check in advance, and if you are unable to attend, please watch the video and give it a try. I hope you are interested. I have one big, great news. It was scheduled to close at the end of 2023, but due to popular demand, the closure was extended until the end of 2027. So, there is still a chance for those who are planning to come to Japan after next year. Also, a new store is scheduled to open in Tokyo in January 2024, so we will sneak into that store and upload a video. Please check it out and use it for your travels. First, let's talk about clothes. There are several things to keep in mind, but perhaps the most important is your clothing. Watch this video. Your feet will get wet in some spaces. Please take off your socks and tights in the locker area. In some areas, water depths are knee deep even for adults. Please roll up your pants. Mirroring materials are used on the floor in some areas. If you are wearing a skirt, your underwear may be visible. Rental shorts are available for free. Please use the changing rooms in the locker area. Please store all your belongings in the locker, except smartphones and cameras. Please use one locker per person. Download the Team Lab app using the QR code on your locker door to interact with some of our artwork. Therefore, avoid wearing skirts and stockings as much as possible. There are many photo spots, so please use them as reference and look stylish. The second thing is about time. I think most people make reservations in advance. If you are traveling and have limited time, we recommend arriving around 3 p.m., although this is not unreasonable. Some areas are lit up at night. Although you have to stay a little longer, you can see both the daytime view and the illumination. If that is not possible, we recommend going at night. Make a reservation from around 3 p.m. Light up starts at 4 p.m. Thirdly, outdoor works of art also. There are several works of art on display on the premises. There are things you can see and touch, and things that look great in photos, so let's look for them. Don't miss the art on site. Don't forget to take photos. Observe over a period of time. If you look at the area where the light was used for a while, you will notice that the effect is not the same. You won't get tired of watching it for a while. There is always the light and movement you like. Browse the same area for a certain amount of time. No two movements are the same. Find what you like. Fifth, 
Don't miss it and touch it as much as possible. There are a lot of effects using light, so some parts are dimly lit. There are also places where there are no maps and routes are not straight. As a result, it's easy to miss the highlights of detail. For example, when you touch this water, the effect changes. Only the water you touch will glow. The entrance to this place is narrow and difficult to find quickly. Performance here will vary depending on the participants. Also available on smartphones. The location was also difficult to find. Based on the above, make sure you don't miss anything in each area. Let's touch what we can. Now, I'll give you a digest of what's inside. Thank you very much for your attention. Please take off your shoes and enter. Please take off your shoes immediately and put all your belongings except your cell phone in this locker. Don't forget to hydrate beforehand. First, go to the water area. As soon as you enter, there is a dimly lit passageway. The connection route for each area is as shown in the video. As you move forward, you will hear the sound of water flowing. There is a slope where water flows. It gets wet quickly. The water is strong here, so be careful not to get your clothes wet. At the end of a long slope, there is a waterfall with a large amount of water flowing down. There is no need to touch this waterfall. There is space in each area to wipe your feet if you get wet. Sorry it's too dark to see next time. To explain, it's an area with cushions spread all over the floor, and the distance is about 20 meters. The children are overjoyed, and the adults smile at the sight of them unable to walk properly. This is a light art space that makes extensive use of LED lights. Do not touch this light. The floor and ceiling are mirrored, making it feel very spacious and creating an endless sense of space. It seems to light up in time with the sound, but it seems to be programmed differently each time. The roads in this area are difficult to follow, so be careful not to miss any photo spots. If you went straight to the passageway that leads to the next area, go back and try another path. One of the spots in this area is the triangular space. The view differs depending on where you stand, and everyone takes photos using mirrors on the ceiling, floor, and walls. This is another spot. The floor here is not a mirror, so you can take fantastic silhouette photos. You can also take photos like this. Another spot here is the art you can get involved with. You can also do it from your smartphone.
Once you're satisfied, move on to the next area. The next area will be submerged in water up to your knees. Using projection mapping, you can project art onto the white, murky water surface. Carp swimming on the surface of the water are reflected, as well as seasonal flowers. The sensor works according to the movement of the person, and the movement of the carp changes. Flowers also move. Due to programming, no two movements are the same. If you try to catch a carp, it will turn into petals or run away. When it gets a little brighter, you can see the whole thing. The entire wall is covered in mirrors, creating an open field. It's hard to see, but there's a space you can't miss. Many people miss it and move on, so be careful when looking for a location. It's very hard to see, but there is an entrance. This is that space. It's not big, but it feels spacious because the walls are mirrors. It appears that it was originally a separate piece of art and may change periodically. Several thin waterfalls flow and are illuminated. When you touch it, only the waterfall you touch will light up. When you touch the two waterfalls, the parts you touch will light up. When you release your hand, everything lights up. Don't you think it would be nice to have a photo like this? Head to the next area. The floor of the connecting passage can also be used as a cushion, so please enjoy it as well. Next is an area with randomly placed balloon-like spheres. The pure white sphere changes the scenery depending on the color of the light. It's like dyeing a spherical canvas with different colors. When you impact this sphere, colors radiate out from it. What's a bit interesting is that when you wear white clothes, you get dyed the same color. Some colors are bright as shown in the video. Find your favorite arrangement and take a photo in your favorite colors. Next up is art that you can enjoy while sitting on the floor without moving around. Sorry for the poor image quality as it was a very dark place. To explain the inside of the area, it is a circular space with a mirrored floor and a dome-shaped ceiling. Sit on the floor and watch the projection mapping projected onto the dome-shaped ceiling. It's nice to relax and watch. You can project butterflies using your smartphone. Please note that the mirrors on the floor and the images on the ceiling may make you feel sick, so if you don't like writing, please stay for a short time. There are two areas left. This is a timed event, with about 30 people participating in shifts. There are lots of fresh flowers on display here, and mirrors on the floor and ceiling make it look endless. Take a walk and admire the flowers hanging from the ceiling. Some flowers move up and down. Everyone takes photos at their favorite places.
This is the last area. There are many objects with slightly unusual shapes here. This can be touched or shaken. This view can be seen during the day, but it is illuminated after 4 p.m. This is what it looks like at night. Don't you think it's fantastic and wonderful? When shaken, sound and light spread radially. If you come a little before this illumination, you can see both. This concludes the digest tour. Although it was in the middle of the video, Team Lab seems to be replacing some of the art over a certain period of time. It has been decided that the exhibition will be postponed until the end of 2027, so some of the art may be replaced in the future. We would like to regularly collect information on new stores opening in January 2024 and provide them to everyone. I would appreciate it if you could check it out. Thank you for watching till the end.